Hey guys, tonight me and Tammy are going to be trying this Red Baron. This is a new stuffed crust for cheese pizza. It's mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan, and provolone cheeses made with real cheese. Excellent store of protein. It is 20.67 ounces, one pound, 4.67 ounces. Um, we bought these at Walmart. They were $6.78, which isn't too bad. Um, I will go through the calories and stuff later. So basically what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You're going to place the pizza on a baking pan. Uh, bake the pizza for 17 to 20 minutes. We'll probably do like, what, 18 or 19. And then um, then we'll see, make sure it's golden brown, basically is what it says. So, let's see. I do have a, a baking sheet, and I put parchment paper on there just so it won't stick. I'm going to figure out how to open it. It's on the side of it. Yeah, okay. That, well, again, I guess that's what the picture looks like, but I wasn't expecting it to be just on the sides like that. That's interesting. <laughs> um, also, I noticed that just looking at it, the toppings aren't really uh, what I can call a lot. There's not a lot of toppings on there. So I'm going to get this in the oven. Make sure I get my cheese dumped on there. Whatever's in this bag, I'll dump on the on top. And uh, we'll be back when it comes out. We left it in the oven for 18 minutes and we're gonna move it over to our cutting board here uh, because we don't wanna leave um, marks. marks in our pan. I'm, I'm gonna cut it into, well, I might, I don't know. You Let's cut see. it however you wanna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half and I hate to cut it. I, I don't care if you cut it into four pieces. Yeah, I'm that's fine with me. Because it looks like a school pizza when you cut. Well, now you now you didn't. You ruined it. I'll leave yours. No, no, no. It's fine. No, I'll leave yours. Too. No, it'll probably be easier to to pick up. You're that's right. That's what I'm thinking. It'll be easier to eat. Yeah, it'll be easier to eat. And Although it does look like a school pizza when you leave it. Yeah, it, it <laughs> looked like our traditional school pizza when he left it in fourths. So I want to make sure I thank the Undead Foodie on Instagram for telling me about these pizzas. He actually sent me uh, pictures of this one and the two other ones and um, he found them in his store and he told me that I could share them so I shared them on my Instagram account. Uh, so this is the four cheese like Kevin told you. A fourth of the pizza, 147 grams, is 380 calories. So, not too bad. And it's uh, www.redbaron.com. So, are you ready for ready. this? Let's see. Mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan, and provolone. I'm just going to try the red And it's, it's stuffed, so we really want to try that crust, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try a little one. You know, we jokingly said this looked like a school pizza. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like it was one of the school pizzas, which is not a bad thing. We like the school pizza. I think uh, the school pizza that we used to have in the college, I think it was saltier. Hmm. Well, we used to put salt on it too. <laughs> That's a good pizza. It's kind of a basic pizza, but it's good. It's okay. No. It's it's okay. It, um, it, um, the cheese in the crust is kind of squishy. It's okay. It, uh, definitely does not take the place of other brands for me. Mm -hmm. Um, no, this is a cheaper pizza. Yeah. The, yeah. And although we paid six something for it, over six dollars for yeah, it. Yeah, so we paid six twenty eight. I think we paid more for this than some of the other brands that I'm, I'm really crazy about. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you because I know somebody's going to ask. Because somebody else like, what pizzas are you talking about? Um, I like the Screaming Cecilia and Bessie's Revenge, which is a cheese pizza if you're looking for a good cheese pizza. And I really like the Motor City Pizza Company. I like their um, cheese as well. So those two would absolutely trump this one any day. Any, I think this day. is... Um, and they're, they're the same price if not cheaper. Yes. So, um, if you can, uh, I know you should be able to find those, at least the Screaming Sicilian you should be able to find. I would absolutely, uh, for me, I would no, choose I agree. I those agree. No, over this. This is just, um, it's very, very, very basic. Mm -hmm. um, there's not a lot of seasonings to it. The cheese is, no, there's not the a lot cheese, of cheese. No, there's not a lot of flavor. And the cheese in the crust is very squishy, mushy. It's not mm -hmm. really like, it's not like a cheese stick or something like that. It's just, uh, it, it tastes doughy. 
it does it, taste doughy. It tastes very, very yeah. doughy. That um, that crust does. Yeah. And uh, you don't get a lot of really, really good cheese. No, flavor. I was expecting for the price it being, it would be much higher end tasting, and it's yes, not. Yes, and it's not. So that's okay though. This is the first one. We bought three. We bought this one, and we bought what a pepperoni and mm -hmm. like a meat. Maybe some, some kind of a meat, meat lovers, yeah. I think. So we will go in with mm, new yeah. taste buds, new eyes into those because you never know. Maybe that's what it needed uh, to add some oomph to it. Maybe it just needs uh, meat on it because this is just way too plain, plain for me. Very, very plain. So we'll see. Though those the meat ones may. Uh, be better than other companies. We'll just, we'll have to see. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.